Wow, what a difference 16 years makes. Thanks, everybody, for coming on another Weekend Wanderers USA adventure. As always, we have Yoop, the Adventure Alpaca, and my wife was joining us for this trip. She had never seen Niagara Falls. We showed up at Niagara at night and got a chance to see some new lighting that they have set up. We were fortunate enough to stay in the Niagara Visitor Center and slept to the sounds of the rapids and got a chance to see the fall spray even in the morning. Well, that does it for all the Great Lakes. I guess now we're going to go find some uh, pretty good lakes. Then some okay lakes. We drove across Vermont, across New Hampshire, and ended up at Mount Washington. Uh, we got lucky. We had two of what they call a 5% day. Only about 5% of the time is the weather clear, and you can see for several hundred miles in every direction. Unfortunately, as you'll see, we didn't quite make it as far as we were hoping. However, we did discover a new favorite pastime while camping parking lot pie. Well, we're at 4,000 feet. We boiled over about mile three. Drove another quarter of a mile, boiled over again. I think we're done. We got too many miles to go till we get home. And uh, that road looks like it just gets steeper going up. So we're going to call it. As irony would have it, I came up with a surprising idea. Let's get some lobster and go to Thunder Hole. And we ended up going back to the lobster shack that we just passed. Absolutely amazing views. This shows you how fast the weather can change. This was about 5 o'clock. This was about 9 o'clock the next morning. We got a chance to tour the island and even see some of the horse-drawn carriageways that crisscross through the park. Something interesting we discovered is that Acadia National Park does not encompass the entire island. There are several campgrounds, however, none of them have same-day reservations. My wife and I thought this was an interesting little cottage. It was designed very uniquely. One of the places we definitely want to visit was the Bass Lighthouse. Uh, it's very unique. It has a little red light on the top of it. It's the only time I've ever seen one red, and thanks to lower 48 patches, it gave us reason to head to Acadia.
This ended our first night on the island, and we got showers and headed back so we could start our morning in Bar Harbor. Found a cool map, handkerchief, and decided to take the walk over to Bar Island. There's an hour and a half during low tide that you can walk over and there's warning signs letting you know that if you don't make it you're going to have to get a water taxi or wait nine hours period we finished up there headed to Boston uh, tried to get to the Warren pub discovered that a full size four wheel drive van is impossible to park in downtown Boston so we gave up we did find another pub got a nice bacon and cheese beer and then headed to Hartford, Connecticut to stay at the Cabela's Thanks for watching, everybody, and enjoy. I'm not going to tell you now that you're asking me to do it. Are you sure? I should have been videoing the whole thing instead of just the end of it. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> 